What's up, guys? This is the High Tech Redneck, and I wanted to do a review on this Buck Vanguard. Um, I've had this knife for about 12, 13 years, maybe longer. I got it as a Christmas gift from an ex-stepdad of mine. Long story, but anyway, um, it's been an amazing knife. At the time, it was about a $40 knife at, uh, from Walmart. Um, I believe now they're around 65 or 70 and they're still worth every penny. Um, I can't say enough good things about this knife. I've carried it lots and lots. And uh, let's get started. Okay, so the sheath on this knife is one of the main things I absolutely love about it. It is a kind of a one-piece design wrap-around sheath. You see this same piece of leather wraps all the way around here and snaps back to itself. That's a pretty decent design. There's nothing wrong with it. I've not had any problems with the knife trying to cut the, uh, the snap off at all. Um, the one thing is when you open it and it's on your pocket, you have to use your finger and push this out of the way and then draw the blade. Now, the only problem you'll have, you'll see inside of the sheath, or maybe you won't because it's dark, there are some stab marks there where you go to put the knife back in and you stab the leather. Well, that's not that much of a problem if you're careful. This is not a tactical knife that you're meant to throw in and out of the sheath. This is a hunting knife and an everyday carry kind of knife. I absolutely love this sheath because whenever it carries, number one, you'll see the handle carries above the belt just a little bit. So if I bend over, it doesn't dig in my side, but it raises it up about an inch, a little over an inch from hanging down my leg also. So it doesn't hang out, flop around everywhere. This thing does not flop around. Um, when I carry it on my side, just a little bit behind my side towards my hip, um, this thing fits perfectly. It never gets in my way. I can jump in a car, go to put a seat belt on, you know, sit down in all kinds of weird chairs, and it folds as you um, as you squat or sit down. It folds with your leg. It bends upwards. And the secret to this is in this belt loop. This is genius. I've never seen another sheath like this, and I would highly recommend that knife manufacturers start making more like this. As you can see, it's just a plain rivet or whatever here into the leather. But the way this loop is designed with the thickness and the way it hangs, whenever you sit down or whatever, this thing twists on your belt. And it twists naturally. You don't have to grab it and do it. It just kind of naturally twists with your leg as you sit or move. And it's really impressive the way this thing fits so ergonomically on your side. Using the knife, you know, all of that completely aside, just the sheath itself makes this knife easy to carry in an everyday situation and that's why I wear this knife all the time you know I've, I've probably worn it oh hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of days in in the years that I've owned it I have really carried this knife um, let's go to the blade here the blade itself is I think four and a quarter inches long it is a nice blade you can see it's got some scratches on there because as I said I have beaten the crap out of this knife I've really used it in the woods and everyday situations yeah, I've skinned 50 deer with this knife. I've deboned lots and lots of animals with this. I've done a lot of work with this knife, and it holds up great. It cleans up easily, and it's a knife I would recommend to anybody looking for a decent, small, fixed-blade knife. It is very tough. It's got a fairly thick uh, blade stock. It is not like, you know, a K-bar or a big chopping knife. This is not intended to be a chopper. It's not meant for major wood processing, though I have used it to baton wood and to do some bushcraft stuff with quite a bit. It's my favorite little bushcraft knife because I don't have a big fancy one. It's got um, brass um, guard, a brass butt. These little black things are black rubber washers. And then I'm not sure what kind of wood this is, but it has a nice lacquer finish over it. It is smooth and it's not extremely grippy. It's more of a gentleman's fixed blade, but... And I've used this knife, like I've said, I've used it in some rough applications, and I've never had it try to slip out of my hands. It's a very ergonomic shape. You've got a palm swell in this. I mean, it's really easy to grip, and once you get a grip on it, it doesn't want to go anywhere. I've, I mean, I've had, you know, blood all over my hands, water, mud, grease, you name it, while I was working with this knife, and no problems, guys. No problems whatsoever. It's a great knife. It's a very strong knife. It's 420HC. They, they make an S30V version now from Cabela's. Um, it, it's a little custom version that I would highly recommend if, if, you, if you guys can get one. I'm actually planning on getting one myself because I love this knife so much. I am going to get another. And I'm also going to buy probably two more of these sheaths just because I know I'm going to wear this one out eventually because I wear this knife all the time. 
Um, the one maintenance problem you'll have on this knife is if you're a really lazy guy and you don't like to take care of your stuff, you will have oxidation on this brass. Now, I have not shined this recently. It's been a few weeks, but I, did, I do wipe it off with my t-shirt after I get done using it. But uh, there was a time when I didn't use this knife often. I just carried it in the woods and for hunting trips, and I left it laying in a drawer for about three, three and a half years or so of the time that I've owned this, I was not using it on a regular basis. And this got very brown and very, you know, it looked like really old brass. It hasn't been polished in a long time. And I thought, whatever, it's not a big deal. It's just, that's just what happens to brass. Well, eventually it, it started to rust or something like what you would call it. I'm not sure, but it actually put pits in, uh, let me see if I can focus this in. It put pits here in the butt cap. Some of these are just dings from carrying the knife and some of them are actually from rust that formed on this. Uh, it's not going to focus. But anyway, I had to, uh, to get some polish and really, really polish this thing to get that oxidation out of there and get it out of those pits and make sure it didn't keep going and getting worse. Now, I mean, I've beaten and banged this thing. I've slammed into stuff while I was walking around and, you know, stuff like that. And it is a well-used knife. It is, you know, over a decade old, and it's still beautiful, if you ask me. Unless you look closely, you can't tell that this knife has been used hard. And I've got, you know, probably, I'd say in the range of seven or eight other fixed blades that are now in a trash can or a landfill somewhere because I've broken them while using them like I've used this knife. And this one is held up extremely well. The edge has never rolled on me. I've never had any major problems. Um, I had a bad sharpening technique years ago, and I rounded the tip off and re recently had to uh, reprofile my tip a little, but that's not a problem. That was my fault. And uh, 420HC steel is really, really good. It holds an edge pretty well. It's It sharpens pretty well. It's not S30V. You know, it's not super steel, but it's a lot better than the, than your 440, you know, stainless china knives. It's a, a whole lot better. And I'd highly recommend this knife to anyone who wants a small, medium-sized fixed blade. Um, number one, because it's an amazing knife, but it's not that hard to find an amazing knife. What it is, what, what is hard to find is an amazing knife that carries well in an everyday application. And this sheath combined with this knife make this the perfect everyday carry kind of fixed blade. And uh, now this sheath, I have to specify, there are two versions of this sheath. There is a nylon version. I have no experience with that. I can't vouch for that. This camera is being weird. Just a second. Let's put it up to the light. Yeah, all right there we go now I have no experience with the nylon version of this sheath but this leather version you can buy replacement versions of it too but makes these um, this leather version is amazing if you have one of the nylon versions buy a leather one please I'm telling you this is the most amazing sheath I've ever seen on a fixed blade I've uh, never had problems with it and it really blows my mind this knife itself blows my mind and I am going to buy a second one. So I would suggest it to you guys too. Enjoy.